This is going to be a video product review of the KitchenAid Expandable Stainless Steel Colander. One size and it's black. All right, I know it's in the package. I bought one of these things about 10 years ago. I don't even know how long, a long time ago at Costco and it finally broke. It's incredible that it lasted as long as it did. So I just bought another one on Amazon. I'm gonna leave an affiliate link in the video description for you. So uh, if you wanna buy it, click on the link. So what are they say on here? Um, drain and rinse with ease over the sink strainer colander is a perfect stainless steel draining. Rinse is pasta, fruit, vegetables, stainless steel, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Non-slip feet, rubber, encased feet, let the strainer sit on the sink or on the counter without slipping or scratching. Measure the strainer 16 inches and fully expandable. It measures 16 by 22, I guess. Um, what else do they say? Um, let me take off the, the package, the wrapper. So, after years of using this thing, years and years, it finally snapped the, uh, the bottom piece. It rusted a little bit over here, and this piece snapped. So, this thing, I just bought it now. I don't know what I paid for it. It says 27, 28. Did I pay 28 for it? Uh, this video. If you like it, video, uh, do a thumbs up, subscribe, like, share, comment. Uh, use the affiliate links in the video description along with the PayPal link if you want to help me out. So this is what it does. This is, wow. Like I said, I haven't uh, had a new one in a long time, so I don't remember it sliding so smoothly. Um, this is a little jammed in here a little bit. So what you do, this is what you do. You uh, place it over the sink. That's what I do. I place this thing on the counter. I place this thing on the middle section of the sink. And you can put in your uh, lettuce. I didn't do that. I used berries. Lots of berries I was doing when I was doing my tofu. I would put a couple blocks of the tofu in here and let it rest while I was putting it in the strainer to, uh, to drain the liquid out of there. Okay, there's a bug flying around in this video somewhere. So this thing is I used it as a pasta strainer. I did do that. Um, this became my all-purpose strainer. I don't really, I've got a colander. I don't use it. I don't eat pasta now, but I bought this thing. It's not cheap. Look, let's face it. You can go down to the store and buy some piece of garbage for five dollars, a little plastic colander. But this thing's really neat because you can put it right over the the sink, either the a small sink, or you can put it this way, sideways, uh, between the back splash and the front counter. It's, it's worth it. It's worth every penny. That's why when mine broke, I kind of said, what am I going to do? I want another one of these things. And I looked at the price, and I went, I don't know what I spent 10 years ago, but it's worth it. 20, okay, so let's, let's figure. $27 right now, $28. So if I had this for 10 years, that means this cost me $2.80 a year for all of the use that I got out of this. Now, okay, I don't really like this little, this little section over here, um, but it held up. It held up forever. 10 years is a, 8 years, 10 years. That's a long time. If this thing broke in a, in a year, I would go out and buy another one of these things because it's good. This, none of, no rusting on this at all. A little bit of... Uh, after eight years, ten years, however long it was, a little bit of rusting on the, just a, a small amount on the screw heads. The, these pieces slid perfectly, and you can see they come out really nice. Maybe this needs a little uh, wear. It locks in place a little bit. So this is a really good strainer made by KitchenAid. So when the thing broke, I said, oh my goodness, let me go look online, and I put all these different colanders and strainers in the, uh, in the wish list, in the cart, and I put this one in there, and I said, that is a lot of money. And I bought it. I bought it again. I didn't buy any of the others. They're still sitting in the wish list in the, in the cart. And look, it's not like this stuff's going to break me. If I wanted the others, I could buy them. Um, I'm not going to cut corners when it's something that I'm going to use all the time 
and I, just, I kept this out on my counter. Seriously, I know my kitchen's a mess. I kept this out on my counter um, for all those years. It never went in the cabinet. It's something that I use constantly. Not constantly, it's something I used weekly, if not more. For straining fruits, when I bought grapes, I could put them in there and strain them. Uh, blueberries, blackberries, I don't buy the blackberries anymore. The blueberries, it's really neat. You buy the big thing at Costco, you throw them in here, you, uh, you clean them out, and then you can put a uh, paper towel on there and try to mop it up unless you want to leave this thing out for days. You want to get the moisture off your berries so that they don't mold and spoil. So this is a really good product. Tofu, berries, grapes, fruits, um, just a whole pasta, a holder for just about anything while you're trying to clean it. Um, nothing gets stuck, or I didn't have a problem with anything getting stuck in the little holes over there. They're big enough uh, so that nothing got stuck in them. And if, if it did, you just take a little brush, a, mile, uh, a light brush, and just wipe it on the top and the bottom, and it's going to come out. So this is... Let's get the official name again for it. This is the KitchenAid Expandable Stainless Steel Colander, one size in black, 16.13 by 8.5 by 5.5. So I don't know why before it said 22. The strainer measures 16 and fully expanded it's 22. Okay, so it's 16 inches that way. That is humongous. Ladies, if you know what 8 inches is, oh my God, that's twice the 8 plus 8 is 16. 16 inches. If you know what 8 inches is, or even 6 inches, yow, wow! 8.5 inches going across, I guess, and 5.5 going from here to here. This thing's good. It's a good product. You're going to get your money's worth. The KitchenAid Expandable Stainless Steel. Bought it. This is my second one, and if it breaks again in another year, and like I said, the first one, 8 years, 10 years, 5 years, I don't even know. Um, I got my money's worth. Couldn't be happier. This is the only strainer I have in my house, and it's a good product. Look in the affiliate link. Ah, what am I? Can't even talk. Look in the video description for the affiliate link. It is there. And thanks for watching. So when the thing broke, I said, oh my goodness, let me go look online. And I put all these different colanders and strainers in the, uh, in the wish list, in the cart, and I put this one in there, and I said, that is a lot of money. And I bought it. I bought it again. I didn't buy any of the others. They're still sitting on the wish list in the, in the cart. And look, it's not like this stuff's going to break me. If I wanted the others, I could buy them. Um, I'm not going to cut corners when it's something that I'm going to use all the time. And I, just, I kept this out of my counter. So